estimation and costing is one of the easiest unit in building and civil engineering course i can tell you this one for free it is the easiest and that is why today i have prepared this tutorial of building up a unit rate for basement excavation welcome back my name is christine kindly watch this tutorial up to the end so that we can be able to build up this unit rate together and for so that you can have it easier in answering your questions now we have a question it says build up a unit rate for basement excavation commencing from strip level not exceeding 1.5 meters deep per cubic meter using the data given below we have the data total excavation 6000 cubic meters machine higher rate 30000 per week machine output 24 meter cubic per hour machine efficiency 60% machine hourly operating cost 200 shillings man output four hours per cubic meter skid labor 150 shillings per hour and skid labor 90 shillings per hour working hours 40 hours assume two third to be excavated by the machine and a third to be excavated by by man so now this is the data that we need to build that unit rate remember it is commencing from strip level not exceeding 1.5 and we are building our unit rate in cubic cubic meters now let's start so we have the total volume to be excavated and as we've seen from the assumptions here we've assumed a percentage which, which is two third of the total to be machine work and then a third to be man work so we first we must find two third of the total work and a third of the total work so the machine excavated the machine excavated artworks is two third then six thousand that gives us four thousand and then the man excavated is a third then six thousand that gives us two thousand cubic meters so these the two will sum up to the total volume that we are to excavate output of the machine we've been given the output of the machine to be 24 cubic meters per hour meaning in one hour the machine is able to excavate 24 cubic meters but again down here we've been given the efficiency meaning this is not the actual excavation output then we must key in the efficiency side so that we can be able to get now the actual output of that machine in an hour so we have the actual output of the machine it's the efficiency times the output we've seen the efficiency is 60 percent therefore it's 60 percent of 100 times the output that we've been given which is 24 cubic meters so that we get 14.4 cubic meters per hour now this is the actual volume that the machine is able to excavate in in one hour amount of artworks handled we've seen is 4000 cubic meters so let's find how much time do we need now to handle this all to excavate this 4000 4000 cubic meters we've seen this is the output of the machine in one hour that is 14.4 cubic meters per hour therefore in one hour the machine excavates 14.4 cubic meters how many hours will it take to excavate the 4000 cubic meters therefore it's one times four thousand divided by 14.4 which gives us 27 sorry 277.88 hours so this is how much this is the time that we need to to do the work that is to excavate the 4400 cubic meters machine rate we have the machine rate in the data how much are we hiring the machine that is doing the excavation it is 30000 per per week and then working hours we have it's for 40 hours now so the week rate is 40 hours the machine we are hiring it at 30 we are hiring it at 30000 per per week so one week it has 40 hours and in these 40 hours we are hiring our machine at 30000 shillings in one week the machine will work for 40 hours and in these 40 hours we will pay for the machine 30000 
shillings. So get this point here very clear. So in one hour, how much will we pay for that machine? Given that 40 hours, we are going to pay 30,000. So it's one times 30,000 over 40, which gives us 750 per hour. So every hour the machine works, we are going to pay for, we are going to pay 750 shillings. We have the operational cost, hourly operational cost, and then the operator and the assistant. The operator here is the skilled, and then of course there's an assistant, which is there, who is there and skilled. So the hourly operational cost that we have is 200. Hourly machine operating cost is 200. And then we have the skilled labor is 150 per hour. And then the unskilled is 90 shillings per, per hour. So we add the, those operational cost, the 200 plus 150 plus 90 to give us 440 shillings. Therefore, the hiring and operating cost is now, this is what we add for the hiring, 750 plus the operating is 440. That gives us 1,190 shillings. That is per, per hour. So per hour, we are going to, we are going to, spend 1,190 shillings. But remember, how many hours are we working for us to be able to do this excavation by machine? We have 277.88 hours. This is the hours that we need. But we found the cost of one hour, that is 1,190 shillings. How about the 277.78 hours? So it will be 277.78 times 1,190. That gives us 300, 330,558.20 cents. So that is what we need for those hours to complete the 4,000 cubic meters at works. So let's proceed to the man output. Remember, we had the machine output and we have the man output. Now, for the man output, it was a third of the 6,000. We found a third is 2,000 cubic meters. We have the man output. Output, man output was four hours per cubic meter. Four hours per cubic meter. So in one cubic meter, it, when, to, for the man to be able to excavate one cubic meter, it will take him four hours. And what needs to be excavated is this 2,000 cubic meters. So how many hours do we need? If one cubic meter is four hours, what about the 2,000 cubic meters? Therefore, it's 2,000 times four. That gives us 8,000 hours. Man rate per hour is 990 shillings because this excavation is done by the unskilled. So one hour is 90 shillings. What about the 8,000 hours? So it's 8,000 times 90, which gives us 720,000. So this is what we need in the manly skilled to excavate that volume of 2,000 cubic meters. Therefore, the total machine cost plus the man cost, the machine cost we'd found is 330,558.20 cents. And then the, the man cost is 720,000. So we add the two, we get a total of 1,050,558 and 20 cents. So this is what we need to excavate the total volume, which is 6,000 6, cubic meters. And then we allow for 20% profit and overheads. That is, sorry, we allow for 30% profit and overheads. That is 130 times the total cost, which is 1,050,558.20 cent. It gives us 1,365,725.66. So this is the total cost that we will need to do that excavation thank you very much for your time and if you're new to this channel kindly don't forget to subscribe for more we are going to do a second tutorial a second example for basement excavation before we proceed to another one thank you very much